Welcome back, everybody, to the Tennessee Titans franchise. Our undefeated Titans put their 4-0 record to the test against the Dallas Cowboys in the pouring rain here in Week 5. You know who this game is set up for perfectly. Derrick Henry and the running game will be our point of emphasis given all the wind and rain and missing number one receiver Trayvon Randolph. We're happy we've got Derrick Henry on this team still, especially for games like this. The last thing we want to do is drop back to pass a bunch of times and give a guy like Micah Parsons a chance to take over. Haven't we lost enough games like that in this franchise? He's still going to be somebody we have to watch out for, and it's not like we're going to throw it zero times. But we face the Dallas Cowboys, who rank number nine in offensive scoring, number two in defensive scoring, and they are the best run defense right now four weeks into the season. Derrick Henry has 4.6 yards to carry with his 276 yards rushing and four touchdowns. And this is set to be our last game where Trayvon Randolph will not play. Can our undefeated record withstand another battle against one of the NFL's best? We've had a very difficult schedule, but to be 4-0 right now, I couldn't feel better about the state of this team here in Season 5. So let's get it underway, everybody. The Titans will be up first today offensively to try and navigate through this rain. And we are underway in Week 5. It's a short kick and fielded by Leonard Rose. And he spins ahead to the 28-yard line where he's taken down. The wind is going to affect the kicking game dramatically, as you could tell on that opening kickoff. Brian Nava has eight touchdown passes and three interceptions, enjoying a really strong start to the season. Devian Bynes is the lone receiver, three tight ends, and they open with a run to Derrick Henry, and a strong run of nine yards gets us underway. Dallas responds by loading the box on second down and running to the right side. Not much there for Derrick Henry with Leighton Van Der Esch and Trayvon Diggs. Third and one. Again, first down, Derrick Henry. Stopped by Micah Parsons. After three carries to open the game, they make a change and Manny Warner checks in. He'll grind his way through the middle, gaining five. And now Devian Bynes is waving trainers onto the field. We're already missing Trayvon Randolph. Can you imagine missing Bynes as well? He's not in there on second down, and Henry gets all kinds of space into Dallas territory. Taking this fight right at the number one run defense and off to a good start. In the game now is Tim Cannon with Henry finding a big hole again. This interior is paving the way. In this opening possession, Cannon stays in there, and he is back to pass under heavy pressure, and that is incomplete for Derrick Henry, and it was better off dropped anyway. Brian Nava back in the game, making adjustments at the line, just got the snap off in time. Steps up, and he's taken down from behind just after crossing the line of scrimmage. And they'll bring out Matt Gay for a 46-yard field goal try. The wind is at his back, and he plays it perfectly, putting the Titans on the board 3-0. Now it's going to be Dallas's turn, and they've got the playmakers you're used to seeing here with C.D. Lamb, Ezekiel Elliott, and Dak Prescott under center. Dallas is 3-1 on the season, and former Titan Trevor Penning is their starting left tackle. Opening... In the air on first down, and Prescott hesitates, and he's sacked by Grady Jarrett. It's a loss of three. Dallas seems to have the opposite approach to Tennessee here early. Second down, Prescott sails one, knocked away by Isaiah Simmons. He wanted Nico Collins. Third and 13. Stepping up and heaving again. Overthrown with good coverage by Farley. A three and out for Dallas. And now at this end, they'll be kicking into the wind. And you're not getting much on these kicks from this direction. Christian Parker across the 50. That is only a net of 33 yards. Excellent start for Tennessee. And they'll have the football with a short field. 
Starting with Henry. Again up the middle and into the secondary of Dallas. 15 yards and already 54 for Henry. Now they bring a man in motion and give it to the rookie, Raekwon Stark. And he runs ahead for a gain of nine. This has been a very weather-driven game plan for Tennessee as Henry gets the first down. Six on the gain. They can't stop him right now. Three tight ends on the field for Tennessee, and it's a fake. Rolling to the right and firing. It's caught for the touchdown. It's Chiga Kunkwo. On his first catch of the year, he puts the Titans up 9-0 and leaps into the stands. What a start for Tennessee. You really can't ask for much more from Tennessee. Dallas will run for the first time, and Ezekiel Elliott is stuffed by John Franklin Myers. They're going right back to the air. Prescott throws it outside to Elliott, and their first completion will make the third down much more manageable. Prescott needs four. Under pressure, sails it again. Well out of bounds towards Nico Collins, incomplete. It's a second straight three and out. Fox will boot it away again. And Parker runs up, caught on the fly. And taken down at the 42. And looks like a player is shaken up. That is Jamel Dean, who's the starting slot corner. First and 10, Henry runs it up the middle, and Dallas is better prepared this time. And already it's not looking good for Jamel Dean, looking like an elbow injury. And he's not going to come back to this one. A fake on second down, and Nava is intercepted! Picked off by Dante Jackson. Dallas gets their first big play. And here's Sterling Shepard. He's open, but this ball is not thrown on target, and Jackson is able to take advantage. Short field, Dallas, can they capitalize? This pass is incomplete. Dalton Schultz couldn't hold on. Everything is so much tougher in this rain. Third and ten. Prescott sacked by Rashawn Gary. Another Dallas three and out. They don't even have positive yardage right now or a first down. Here's Henry running inside, and he gets stuffed again. Dallas playing their best run defense and forcing a throw on third down. That is cut by Sterling Shepard, first down. Excellent protection, great route, making it very easy there on Brian Nava. Now he comes out of the game, and Cannon is back in, rolling to his left and completing to Sal Sexton for a gain of four. But Nava's right back out there with the last play of the quarter. Third and four, caught. Shy of the marker by Emmanuel Abbott. It'll be fourth down in the second quarter. But what an opening. Negative nine yards to this point for Dallas. Hoping for a stop, fourth and a long one. And Henry is not gonna get it. They stuff him in the backfield and the Cowboys take over. The second big moment for their defense. Now Prescott is rolling way back and throws it incomplete. Mike McCarthy's game plan has just been a complete disaster to this point. Now it's up top and broken up for C.D. Lamb. That is another three and out, and Dak Prescott is one of eight throwing. Manny Warner up the gut with a block from Chris Wimbley. He gains nine. Got to use multiple running backs with this kind of approach. It's Warner. Good cut. Finds the lane. Taken down near midfield. How about this one-two punch of Henry and Warner? Warner's in here on first down, taking it to the right where Van Der Esch chases him down. But they're consistently chipping away at this run defense. And they give it to Stark again. Gets outside of Parsons. Jets his way to the edge for a first down. They've really got the game plan they need today. This is awesome. Now Nava's back to the air and wildly throws it in the direction of Dominic Brooks. Not sure how you missed that one exactly. And now third and ten right off the hands of Polite. If you're throwing today, it's a bad idea. And now that we've flipped ends, Tennessee can't kick a field goal here and barely get the punt off with Matthews. They just had to forego a 55-yard field goal. 
because in this wind, you're not making it. Cowboys take over. They have done nothing to this point offensively. Here's Prescott with time and the open man. That is Will McAllister. And by far the best play for Dallas as Prescott is now 2 of 10. On first down, good protection. Caught by Michael Gallup across the 40 for a gain of 9. They got C.D. Lamb in the slot right now, matched up with Dennis Murphy, but Elliott gets the carry, and by far his strongest run on just the second attempt. How have you not ran the ball more at this point? Prescott, caught. Nope, just kidding, it's incomplete for Schultz. Receivers are having a real tough time holding on to the football today. Prescott in trouble, and sacked again. It's Rashawn Gary. Cowboys had a little glimmer of hope on that drive, but Gary takes it away. I'm not sure why they thought a tight end could sufficiently block Gary one-on-one. -on -one. Gotta learn the lesson somehow. Five minutes to go in the first half. Henry, good run on first down of six. 12 carries, 70 yards. Four minutes on the clock. Fake from Nava, rolling to his right. Fires sideline, caught first down, Sal Sexton. I don't know how he did it right there. Oh, maybe he didn't. Yeah, that left foot comes down out of bounds. The right one did drag though. Matthew's on to kick and that's about as far as he can get it to the 43 or so of Dallas. This is just a tough direction to punt. You want long drives on this end of the field. Elliott taken down by Divine Diablo. Short gain. 317 on the clock. Blitz coming. Sacked again. Number four for Tennessee. It's Divine Diablo. He's a really effective blitzer, and he just keeps finding ways to make more plays. Long way to go for Dallas. Third and 18, but wide open. C.D. Lamb, first down. They found a hole in the coverage that time, and Dallas gets a much-needed first down. As we'll hit the two-minute warning, Prescott connects with Schultz. Gain of nine. A minute 58 to go. Single high safety, and a pass out to Lamb against the rookie, Dennis Murphy. That is just a huge mismatch. And he's out of bounds at the 10. Caught. Lamb into the end zone. Dallas gets the touchdown. They faced a third and 18 and managed to salvage this drive and get their first score. Connor Knox, what is that? He just lets him into the end zone, basically. Make a hit. Not happy with that play. 10-7. Time still for Tennessee. As they have to change up their approach dramatically, and this is off the mark for Polite. Four of nine for Brian Nava. Brings up second down, and pressure gets to Nava. He is hammered by Micah Parsons. Both tackles got beat on that play, and now it's a third and 20. Extra protection, and a shot downfield overthrown for Raekwon Stark. Dallas has a real chance here. Matthews again punting from the 15. And this is fair caught at the 44. Not even 30 yards on that kick. It seems like Dallas has finally gotten comfortable in this game. Prescott gets out of the pocket on second down and can't outrun him. He lost the football. Dallas will keep it, but Terrell Riddick knocked that one out. And it brings up a third and 21. They'll set up a screen for Ezekiel Elliott, and he is taken down at the 47. And you're kidding, right? They're going to attempt a 64-yard field goal. Are you sure about this? They are, and the kick is no good. I can't believe they missed a 64-yard field goal in a monsoon. 46-yard line here for Tennessee as they take over. Pass caught Sal Sexton, gain of eight. Staying empty, second and two. With time to throw underneath off the fingertips of Sal Sexton. Third down, Tennessee, 35 seconds, and they sweep it to the right. And Rashad Polite does not get there. No gain. 
And it looks like they're just going to go for it. They're at the Dallas 38. Nine seconds left. Holding on to the timeout. Nava throws. Caught. First down. Raekwon Stark. His third first down of this first half. And now, kicking into the wind from 40. Wind is blowing left to right. And the kick from Matt Gay is good. Tennessee finishes off the first half by making it 13-7 in a sloppy, ugly game. This is football at its best. Meanwhile, we got a division matchup down in Jacksonville this week as the Jaguars are trying to move above 500 against the Texans who have been off to a very disappointing start. Then in Atlanta, two NFC powerhouses, the Lions and the Falcons, at 3-1, battling it out as we speak. Let's get this second half underway. Dallas basically didn't show up in the first quarter, but they're only down six right now. Prescott's going to sail one, and it's caught by Nico Collins into Tennessee territory. They are determined to win through the air. Plays like that will help. Pass caught. Schultz running away from Diablo. That's a gain of nine. Lamb is slot right. First down. And they'll hand it to him. And CeeDee Lamb is taken down for no gain. Uh-oh. Trevor Penning shaken up now for Dallas. Now the backup is in to face Terrell Riddick. Second down, leaping grab by Lamb, able to hold on for six yards. Brings up third down. Prescott fires outside. It is complete, but shy of the marker. And we'll see what the call is. Looks like offense is staying out there. On fourth and one, Prescott back to pass. Fires right, caught first down, Dalton Schultz. The drive continues for Dallas. On first down, again rolling right. It is caught. Michael Gallup inside the 10. Prescott, 14 of 24 after opening 2 of 10. Goal to go, and Elliott takes it to the right on his fifth carry and doesn't go far. Second down, again. Elliott gets it, and he's in this time. Untouched. Touchdown, Cowboys. And just like that, they have managed to take the lead in this game, 14-13. It feels like they've been dominated to this point. Scoreboard says otherwise, and now a flag down on the short run. And this is on Tennessee for a hold. Leonard Rouse, first and 17. They go delayed. Blocks get set up, and Henry gets that lost yardage back. And now calling on the trainers is Demarcus Lawrence for Dallas. That would be a big loss. Third down for Nava. Steps away from the pressure and scrambles his way for a first down and more. Gain of 18. He's been getting one of those big conversions, it seems, every week. Second down for Nava. And drops it off to Rashad Polite. And he gets about six. They have Polite still in the game, third and five. It's a four-man rush. Underneath for Shepard, right at the marker, and he's got it first down. In the game at running back, they have Manny Warner. He takes this one left and lunges forward at the end, getting the first down. Manny having himself a productive game. Still in there on first down with a fake from Nava and wide open Devian Bynes. That's just his first catch of the day. It's been a strange one here in Tennessee. Abbott is the second receiver now. Manny inside, finds a gap, and he gets seven more. That's 43 on the day for Warner. But third down, Henry's in. Nava scanning, doesn't like it. He will take it himself for the touchdown. Tennessee back in front. That's a great answer. We're getting some really productive scrambling out of Brian Nava this season. And now he's going to try to complete the eight-point play. He throws quick, knocked away from Sexton. Parsons can cover a little bit, I see. 
1914, Dallas takes over. Here's Elliott, and he's brought down by Isaiah Simmons. I am absolutely shocked he's not been used more. But he carries on second down and is met by Farley. Again, we're seeing good run defense out of Tennessee. Third and two. Prescott regains his balance and finds Schultz underneath. Very fortunate after Prescott slipped upon receiving the snap. First and 10. Elliott, what a move, but still not going far. He loses one as a matter of fact. Second and 11, quick pressure, forces the throw out. It's Elliott. Gain of around six. Third and five. Tennessee loading the box. They send four. It's a screen. Schultz spins, holds it in, and is taken down by Grady Jarrett. Setting up fourth down in no man's land here at the 44. And it sure looks like they're going to go for it. One of the biggest plays of the day right here. Fourth and six at our 44. 11 and change to go. Prescott back to pass. Intercepted! Isaiah Simmons takes it away. It's the biggest play he's made as a member of the Titans. Jumping in front of Nico Collins. Yeah, the replay won't go back any further. Our technology can't handle it. 1914 Tennessee football Derrick Henry up the gut gain of nine 89 yards for Derrick Henry third and one he gets the call up the middle first down Nate Davis Sal Sexton Frank Ragnow these guys are doing an outstanding job in the middle that's a fake pressure around the edge down goes Nava Maybe one aggressive call too many there. Looking play action. Brings up second and 21. Nava slings this one. Incomplete. Bynes couldn't handle it. And now third down. Dallas trying to get this ball back. They bring five. That's caught. Bynes right at the sticks. He stopped a little bit short. But it's fourth and inches. And I'm telling you, they don't got to go far. And Nava will sneak it ahead first down. Drive continues. Tennessee up five. Warner gets the carry. Cuts it back to the middle. Gets seven. Nine carries for Warner. Now Polite's the running back. It's a fake his way. Nice grab by Bynes. Adjusted to it behind him. As we go inside seven minutes. Handoff Polite. Looking for space and works his way ahead for four. Henry back in now. Hand off to the right side and not going far. Third down. Dallas really trying to avoid giving up the touchdown on this drive. Third and five. Dumped off and caught for the first down. It's Rashad Polite. The drive continues. Three tight ends in. Polite's the running back. Play action. He's going to throw it to him, and it's well read. Maybe lost a bit on that play. Henry's back in on second down. He's got it, and he's in for the touchdown. Derrick Henry caps it off. What a game, though, for these three running backs. The trio working together unlike anything we've seen before. And they will be going for two again here, up 11. Nava back to pass, has Sexton for the two. 27-14. And we don't have much time to go in this one. That's caught by Michael Gallup, and he gets a first down. Three and change left to go. Dallas has to go quick. Under pressure, it's swung out to Elliott. Gets away from one and then escorted out of bounds at last. Tennessee has made a change here, by the way. They have Daxton Hill playing slot corner with Ronnie Harrison playing safety, which is probably what they should have done as soon as Jamel Dean went down. Third and eight, rolling away. Prescott eyeing the first down, gets it himself. Well, looks like he slid a little too early. Fourth and literally a centimeter. Pressure's on. Pass is incomplete. Lamb couldn't hold on, and Tennessee gets it back. What a game.
Trying to finish this one off. Cutting to the left. Manny Warner. Tough running. He's running so well right now. Second and five. Warner with some help from Wimbley. A stiff arm at the end. And that's going to help seal this one. A huge win for Tennessee. 27-14. They move to 5-0 on the season. That was an extremely fun game. We were so prepared for this kind of a game. Derrick Henry and Manny Warner got a lot of carries in this game. Raekwon Stark helped out. Passing the ball was really difficult, and that's why we just didn't do a whole lot of it. We even had to fight through some adversity in this game when Dallas went up after their second touchdown. But we did a really good job in this game. Games like today, you're glad we still have Derrick Henry on this team, but I feel like Manny is continuing to get better, and he looks like his first step it definitely has an edge over Derrick Henry, and his initial burst is really intriguing combined with his size. I just want to see him start to do more with that size and actually run with power. But I am more than happy with his progress this year. And we're going to give the credit to the offensive line because they were giving us outstanding running lanes. Chris Wimbley had a number of blocks we were able to cut off of for good runs. And Ragnow is doing a great job all the time. Nate Davis as well. And by the way, the schedule is not getting any easier. We take on the Washington Commanders next episode. They're number four in offensive scoring, number four in defensive scoring, four and one. Well, we stand as one of two unbeaten teams still standing. Brian Nava, nine touchdowns, four interceptions. Yeah, interceptions like today. Literally can't do anything about it unless you want to play hyper scared. But I'm excited we're about to get Trayvon Randolph back, and I'm expecting a pretty exciting game against the Commanders and their offense. Defensively, we have uh, a really good unit there. I think that top to bottom, we just have so much talent. But every week, we seem to be challenged by an intriguing offense. Kerry Farrell was Rookie of the Year in the NFC last season, leading the Commanders into the postseason with his 40 touchdowns. He has 16 right now with no picks. Can we intercept this guy? That's going to be one of our missions in Week 6. Terry McLaurin has developed into a 99 overall receiver. He's their number one. You have Antonio Gibson in the backfield, Jacoby Myers, along with Jahan Dotson. But with the way that Terry McLaurin has developed, you bet we're going to be keeping a safety over the top against him and trying to minimize his impact. They've made a lot of good additions in this franchise. I think the commanders have done a good job overall, and the quarterback being nailed absolutely vaults them to the top of the NFC. Jamel Dean's injury is going to keep him out for the next three games. It's a dislocated elbow, and we're going to continue with uh, the plan that I switched to late in the game. Daxton Hill is really versatile, and he can play that slot role, and he will, giving us a really good corner trio again, while Ronnie Harrison can then play safety. The concern there is Harrison's range might be a bit limited. We'll see how it goes. But remember, next week, we're getting Trayvon Randolph back. And I can't wait. We had so much fun in week one, and I wanted to see a lot more of that. And he'll play for the first time since week two. The last thing I wanted to mention today. So I always talk about how I don't update my Madden, and I just keep it on an update. And I play on it for months, and I've been on this patch from November since November, whenever they fixed the uh, the draft reset bug, I wanted that update and didn't download anymore. It allows me to play on the same slider set without worrying about updates messing with it. Well, a Sony system update came out on the PS5 this past week. And usually when I open Madden, I pause the download immediately. Well, with this new update, it's been unpausing my downloads, and at some point when I was playing something else, it downloaded and installed the most recent Madden update. And this game was played on it. 
So I might have to make some minor adjustments at some point. I updated my penalty sliders to the latest Matt 10 has on his Operation Sports thread. I don't anticipate any major issues, but if anything feels a little different, that could be the reason why. And also, like, it's hard to evaluate because we played in the worst weather conditions that Madden even has. So... If something feels a little different, you know, I'll take a few games and evaluate and make some tweaks, but I think we'll be all right. Same thing happened at some point in the Broncos franchise when I was way into that one. But that's going to do it for today, everybody. The Titans are still unbeaten. Please leave your feedback down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe as we continue to defend our undefeated start. Have a great day, everybody.